My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Stardew Valley. All right, what have we got ready for today? It's like we've just got a full inventory, but nothing really doing with it. Actually, it looks like we are trying to visit. Sorry, I didn't realize I was going to be standing next to the drum. It looks like we are probably trying to have a visit with special someone. I wanna... Nah, I'll just sell all the fish. Uh, actually, I'll keep those ones and try and turn them into something useful. This something useful, of course, is going to be deliberated upon after I stall for time, trying to figure out what it is. Ah, yes, refined something. I can't remember the name of it. Gosh, I'm real good at remembering things. Oh man, just so good at it. Okay, let's pick all of these up. Crystallarium is still jiggling. So we'll leave it alone for a while. Let's get our trash up in the top side of our inventory so that we can dump it. Ticka, 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 boom. Then all we're really looking for is transmuting everything into quality fertilizer. Then dumping it all back in here. This bait all goes back into the rod. Yes, this is correct. Okay. So we have these to be processed. Bunch of different raw resources. I think we need a hundred hardwood for something, but we can pick up some hardwood today. That'll be fine. Let's drop off our extra resources, however. That is an extra resource. We have space for this resource and no clay. Interesting. If I sort, is this going to make it easier for me to see what I'm trying to offload right now? Coal goes in here. All of the other stuff does. Actually, no, I'm going to need the iron bars if I recall correctly. Geodes do not go in here. Do I have a geodes box? I don't believe I do. In fact, I just think a geode goes in here. And mixed seeds, and I guess amphibian should be sold on my way past. Boom. Okay. Resort our inventory. This looks like it's prepared for a trip to Robin. I really want to move this, so I'm pretty much just going to be waiting for the update that allows me to actually move buildings like that. Because I'm really sad that I placed it there in order to accommodate for the trees that were going to be beside it. And then had to cut the trees down because they weren't growing correctly. That's... That's a sad experience. It's a sobering experience to have to go through. Uh, next thing that I want to do is going to be a little bit of chop chop down in the secret forest area. I just heard something do a whop. I don't know what it was. Very terrified. Oh, it's also Friday, so I should go down to the sewers, and I should also check with Carnivale Lady over here. Any shinies? No shinies in the water that I can see from here at the very least. Carnivale Lady. You've got milk. Cheese. Milk and cheese. Do I need these? It's the animal bundle. I need a large milk. And I'm assuming a... Normal milk becomes a cheese. Okay, it does become a cheese. So I've made a goat's cheese already, so I can just purchase a cheese, give you the cheese. Don't believe I have any of the other ones here yet. I'll take a cheese. Thank you. Uh, the rest of that I'll pass on for the moment. We got some chopping and doing this general vicinity, and then we've got to go visit Robin. I should also probably check the quarry. I haven't been to the quarry in quite a while. Actually, it's also a new week, isn't it? Nope, I've given everyone a lot of gifts recently. I still need to figure out what Demetrius likes. That's gonna be really important because he is my secret secret. He's my secret secret. Okay, nothing over in this area, beautiful. Just collect the rest of our hardwood whilst we can. What would a man of science like? 
There's got to be a type of food he likes. I have to imagine there is going to be a type of food he likes. But it's probably going to be one of those ones I don't know how to cook yet. Because I have zero cooking skill. Uh... I, d I really don't know. I'm struggling. I just gave him, like... Fossils? I don't know if I can even give him fossils. I'm just gonna have to give him a bunch of different stuff until he accepts something. Or alternatively, I can just look up what he likes. Honestly, that is a relatively appealing option. Just based on the fact that it's really difficult to guess what he likes, especially considering I haven't interacted with Demetrius for uh, ever, I think, actually, is how long it's been. Okay, we'll go around the side path to get to Robin. I was about to water your bowl for you, but first off, that doesn't actually serve any purpose. And secondly, I don't have my watering can on me. It's winter. Are you insane? Not going to be a watering can for long. It's a skeletal hand. I think that's new. Yeah, it is. Gunter can tell me a bit more about that artifact once I give it to him. Okay, Robin. Do me a solid and build me a... I do need stable. Yes. Shit. Oh, fuck. What am I going to sell? I won't be able to get the Iridium Sprinkler. I need the stable, though. Oh, for real, yo? That small. If it's that small, maybe I just put it here. That'd be interesting. It should be really quick to get on the horse and ride away. Yeah! It looks like it should be sunken, actually, just a little. Yeah. That's where that goes. Okay, uh, do you like bar? What is this? You do not. I took a chance. Hello, hello to you as well. Dimitri seems lost in thought. Let's go check on our bay. Hey, Sebastian. It's fun to live so close to the train tracks. I, it's a reminder there's a big world out there. Yes, it sure is. I've already given him two gifts this week. I can't give him another, even if I wanted to, and I desperately do. Guess we swing by Pierre's. I'm actually considering trying to sell anything that Pierre will buy from me. I just need to get up to 10k. It's gonna be really difficult to keep 10k in my inventory at all times. You know what? I can just get gems and I can go sell them to... Yeah, you need a green algae. Alright. Well, I'll see you right now, Pierre. Farmer Rhapsody. Yeah, it is. You will take cheese, but I'm not going to give you cheese. Okay. Ooh, vinegar. Oil. Oil. No, no, no. Truffle oil is the one that's going to be accepted by the... West thing. Okay, so Clint is going to be the person who is going to be accepting my gems. And I need him to accept the gems right now so that I can get my payment immediately and then go to Krobus. I need an Iridium Sprinkler every single time they're on offer. Um, so sorry, but we're going to have to take those Frozen Tears. Definitely all the emeralds, not a problem. Definitely all of those. All of those. And then I'm going to take a bunch of diamonds. I'm hoping not to need all of the diamonds. But if I need all of the diamonds, I need all of the diamonds. I'll sell them. Without a second thought, without a care in the world. Hey, Pam. I didn't even check how the spirits feel today. I really ought to have checked that. 
<laughs> Nothing. Nick's not a zip zilch. Let's go down to town. Hello, Clint. Let's do some shopping. Try not to sell the frozen tears if we have the ability to. We're gonna be so close. Ah, uh, crap. I can sell you an iron bar. Sell you copper bars. 60 each. You know what? I'm gonna sell you one of those. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure that you... This is a fun gift. Thanks. Okay. So I'm not gonna give you iron bars anymore, but I'm glad that you thought it was a fun gift. You can take my skeletal hand. Oh, have we finished this area? Yes, we have finished that area already. Beautiful. It wasn't raining yesterday. Actually, no, it can't even rain. It also wasn't raining yesterday, though. What do I do now? Right, Krobus, of course. Course. How did I even let that slip my mind for half a second? It's the whole point of the majority of the things I've done today. So that I can come down here to this gaster looking motherfucker and buy an iridium sprinkler. Okay. I'll back up in town. What do you like? No clue. Not even gonna try. May as well hold on to the cheese at the moment. I don't need to go to the community center immediately just to place down cheese, even if I don't need it. I hope that the horse doesn't need hay. If the horse needs hay, I'm going to be really sad because then I'm going to need to somehow get grass to grow in winter, which I imagine is just not going to happen. Beautiful. I love it when a flan comes together. Plants too, they're cool as well. Golden <sighs> pumpkin. I'm just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing. Its value has no other purpose. I'm selling the golden pumpkin. Beautiful. Then we can drop a lot of our inventory in this area, or inventory rather, if you want to speak the Queen's English. Don't need that. Any of these get taken out? No, they don't, if I can avoid it. I will drop this in here, just for safekeeping, basically. You are already in another chest, and so are you. Shouldn't be trying to mix up my chests. Green algae is for Pierre tomorrow. I'll hold on to the bombs just in case tomorrow is also going to be a good mining day. <sighs> I do want to place the tappers on things, but I just don't have anything to tap yet. Six. So we'll take out 30 of these. And six coal. Beautiful, beautiful. Drop as many other non-valuables as I can off. Uh, we take the pine tar out. We put the pine tar in. We take the pine tar out and we shake it all about. And of course you do the hokey pokey just in case you've got. That's not a crab pot I was trying to pick up. But actually picking up that crab pot was surprisingly good because it reminded me that I have forgotten to actually refill those crab pots. So one. 13 is needed. And then we'll just go around the circle. Starting to get more quality fertilizer. I don't want to have to pay for much of it, but if need be, I will pay for some. Just hopefully not that much. This stays in the inventory. 
And so does this as a direct gift. Now what do I do with the rest of the day? You know, I think I actually know what I do with the rest of the day. First off, I'm going to check my luck. But secondly, I'm going to go mine some more frozen tears. And I am going to be doing this. They're in good humor today. Okay, that's a good idea then. And I'm going to be doing this basically to future-proof myself in a relationship with Sebastian. Because the only thing I know that he absolutely freaking goes nuts for. Frozen tears. And I know where they are. Anytime I have extra time, I should just go pick them up. So it's between 40 and like 70 or 80, I think. Oh, damn. For real, son? Something tells me this is going to be a lucrative day of... Lucrative half day, maybe, of mining. There's something that told me, of course, being that we found three different... Emerald stacks already. Anything else? Oh, God. Alright, I did not need to mine all of that. For some reason, I just outright assumed, oh, there's not going to be any more to this map. I should just mine this. Uh, actually, I ought to also sort these into the order of most to least used. Hey, another bomb. Beautiful. Try not to waste energy swinging at anything that isn't directly in my path. Or that doesn't propose some sort of value to me. Swinging the sword, thankfully, takes no energy. So we can do that all we like. To our heart's content. Oh, is there going to be nothing at all here? Never mind. Found something. Still no frozen tears, though. You don't even get them from mining. You just find them on the floor whilst mining. So I can see upon initial inspection if I'm going to be able to find any frozen tears. You know, excluding stupid things like getting a frozen tear out of a frozen geode. One, two, three. Hey, a little bit of wood no one asked for. Hey, frozen tear. Unfortunately, I only got a singular one. Thanks to one of our forager perks, I think it's called Gatherer. Every single time we pick up a frozen tier, there is a chance that we get two. Which, as you can imagine, when you're trying to romance Sebastian, would be quite useful. Okay, down again. Anyone else? Ooh, red disc. That's got to be a treasure, right? Yeah, Gunter can tell me more about that. That's very rare. That's the first time I've seen that, and I've been through this area. Let me just quickly count in my head. Uh, 12 bazillion times. Exactly. I know, what a round number. We've given quartz to Sebastian before as well. I imagine he might like that. I know for a fact that Abigail likes quartz, but that's because I saw a post on our Stardew Valley that basically had Abigail say, I love you more than a chest full of quartz. A chest full of amethyst I'd have to think about for a while. That kind of tells you a little bit about her priorities. Not with regard to you, but with regard to amethyst and quartz. Gosh, that's a lot. Right there. And... Just while I'm making my way through. I 
Okay. A little bit of clay. Don't mind if I do. I guess I'll probably get to explore the next floor unless it's tiny. And move on. Ugh. Yuck. Oh, the area is not tiny. It's just overrun with monsters. But thankfully, since I have a good sword, it is basically not going to be a large time investment for me. I have high level combat skill and a very good sword. Beautiful! Level 50. Alright, now we're just going home. Take this to the bus stop. I think I'm going to go for an extra day this episode because we didn't really get an incredible amount completed. Or at least we didn't get enough completed to my satisfaction. It's good that we got all this iron because we were running out. Can't recall what I spent all my iron on though. Oh, it was the worm bins, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I still don't recall. Uh, drop these in. Frozen geode. No. We will stack amethyst because amethyst is loved by a lot of people. Hmm. That's good. That'll stay right there. Resources, resources. Okay, a few things that go in different drawers. Like these go in here. These go in there. I also ought to take the cheese if I'm going to be walking past that area. <sighs> Where's my geode? I had like two normal geodes in my inventory as well. There they are. Thank you for those. Drop these off in this area. You can have my stones as well. These get sold, these get sold, sold. Gunter, traded, Pierre, bombing. And Brack opened by the blacksmith. Okay, we've got a decent plan for tomorrow. I feel pretty solid in my planning for what's going to occur tomorrow. It's getting late. Let's get into our bed that is way too big for just the one of us. Hopefully this fish is a lot of money. Oh, fishes. He's a fish. Uh, was the golden pumpkin. It's 2.5. That's reasonable. I only need to have 10k by next Friday. I can't imagine too many sources that I am going to be selling. Sorry, too many sources that I am going to be losing money through. They're very happy today. They'll do everything to bet shower good fortune. Okay, that's good. That is very good. Pray bien. Okay, the rest of this is fish. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Pop those out. And everything goes back in here. 180. Okay. We're making some closer steps towards, uh, towards what we need. Not exactly there yet, but closer. I love that it seems at all times we have a multiple of 13 for bait. Like I have 39 bait left in my rod after doing the 13 here. So I had a multiple of 13, obviously. On our way out, we actually can just drop, ooh, only 20. Uh, no, we'll go with gold. If we're gonna be away for a while. Pick up six, beautiful. I may as well always be smelting when I have the ability to be. So I'm not going to directly teleport anywhere. Oh, shit. In fact, 
I actually ought to go down to the secret forest first. The reasoning behind that is just that Pierre's shop is not going to be open yet by the time I get there. Something I've also been thinking about a lot recently is I'm going to need protection against thunder strikes. It's not going to be a problem in winter, obviously, because first off, I'm not growing crops that I need to protect against thunder. And secondly, it's not thundering. It actually can't rain in winter. It can only snow. Oh, that's unfair. What if I came here with no health? Would have been instantly punked by that guy. Look at all these slimes. Quite literally crawling out of the woodworks. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this hardwood is going to come in handy for future buildings. It seems like almost everything you do needs... Excuse me? Oh, did I just immediately pick up the hardwood, or did I just not get any hardwood? I actually can't tell. I should have 12 total if I got it. Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, we'll wander through the town, and we want to wander through the town so we can go past Pierre's, check if Pierre has a quest, and give Pierre the algae to complete his quest. Oh god, if that horse needs hay, I'm going to be real sad about it. Oh, I can already feel the sadness welling up in my chest. Ah, crap, I should have brought some... No! No, I, do I don't need Amethyst with me at the moment, because everyone I can give Amethyst to is sick of getting Amethyst for the week. Let's check the calendar. Oh, Evelyn, it's your birthday. What do you like, Evelyn? What does Evelyn like? Hey, green algae, here's a little something for my trouble. I basically just wanted to make him pleased. And I'm not selling you anything. I don't know why I went into your inventory. I can't imagine she's going to like anything I'm currently... Oh, it's you! Hello! Frogs aren't very happy in winter, poor little guys. You bye! See you later! Oh, he's so cute. Gunther, we have something for, but we should visit the blacksmith first, just in case the blacksmith unencases something that we also want to give to Gunther. We'll go with the least impressive, most impressive. Definitely part of the least impressive set, tell you that much. Hey, we actually haven't had Malachite yet. That surprises me. I know we've had Fairy Stone. So we've got two little gifts for Gunther. Short one golden mask, but other than that... Hey! New reward! Is that a reward specific for having given him the... Burnt Offering? I'll place that inside my house. It looks... Weird. I like weird. I'm wearing a skull mask, for Christ's sake. I dig weird. Although, right now... Uh, I really should have just gotten in the... Should have gotten in the... What are we calling it? Minecart system to go to the bus stop, and then I would have gone from the bus stop straight to the desert. Calico desert, that is, so that I could pick up as many... Fruits. As many fruits as possible. Beautiful. Buy a ticket. Ah, oh, no, there's some worms up there. I get them on my way home, I guess. This is how this will have to occur. Oh, God. Looks like there's nothing. Kind of a barren area at the moment. Oh, dear. This actually makes me really nervous. Second coconut? Shh. Uh, hey! Gotcha. Hey! 
a golden... Uh, I've, yeah, I've already had one of those. Golden mask I want. I hope I can get another... Oh, okay, you're all up here. Beautiful. I hope I can actually get another golden mask and it's not just the last thing I managed to get because I fucked it up. That's, of course, taking a lot of responsibility. I don't think I fucked it up as much as I got fucked by taking way more damage than I was expecting to be taking at a certain period in time. Okay, white algae. Spirits are quite pleased with us today, so... Shouldn't be too difficult for us to find... Our way down. Luck apparently affects the... Drops and a bunch of other things, but... More importantly than anything else right now, it affects how likely it is for an enemy to drop a way down to the next floor. It also affects, apparently, breaking rocks and how likely that is to give you a way down to the next floor. Uh, I do want to get to the center of the map here. That shouldn't have sounded like a question. Should have sounded more like a statement, even though I made it sound like a question. That's just the thing Australians do. You end, the, uh, you end everything in an upwards inflection? So it sounds like a question? Even if it isn't? <sighs> well, at the very least, I haven't already found my way down, so I don't feel bad that I'm eschewing it in order to get to the center. Oh god, is there actually not going to be any? Never mind, there is stuff in the center. We're cool. Ah, there's our way down. The one that I said I wasn't going to eschew. See, the thing is, I don't know. Am I more likely to get good stuff from... the center, or from just continuing to go down floors? I'm going to say the floors would have given me better stuff. Now it is my hope to get another way to go down as soon as possible before I have to start backtracking and wasting time. Never mind. Begin the backtrack. Yeah, no, I'm just walking back. I save myself time with a little bit of mining here and there. Whoa! Yeah. Those dragonflies deal all too much damage to you. Hey! But sometimes they also drop your exit, and sometimes they drop spicy eels, so... That's the two good things about their existence. Already listed both of them, so... No one... Can list anymore. Really? Oh, I was expecting a little better out of that, to be honest. Anything in here? No, doesn't look like it. All right, let's go down the floor. Hey! This is reasonable. Probably expected a little more excitement about all this gold ore. Gold is not what I want. <laughs> gold just happens in the same area as the things I want, like diamonds. Oh, there we go, best friend. Which means I have to supplant diamonds in the best friend shots in order to get everyone in Pelican City to love me. Pelican Town, rather. Oh god, this is not good. Oh, never mind, we found a way down. Whew, suddenly good.
how did I hit myself? That doesn't make any sense. Any dang sense. Right, first off, choo 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 choo. We gotta get all these cav carrots into me. And then we're gonna drop down. Alright. Don't drop down too far. Here we go. Jump in. Eight levels! Okay, eight levels is just enough to damage me. But apparently not enough to kill me. Okay, I'll do a quick scan, see if there's anything else I want to pick up in the area. Good thing I did a quick scan, otherwise I would have missed out on these diamonds. Okay, it's time to eat the spicy eel, buff my luck to stupid amounts, and also make myself stupidly quick. Go down to the next floor immediately. My goal on every floor is just going to be go down to the next floor as soon as possible. Which is why here, my strategy is blow everything up. Got it. Anything around here? I do have to do a little bit of a rudimentary check, see if there is anything valuable on the floor that I should pick up before I leave. Apparently not. Get myself out of dodge. Oh, another hole. Beautiful. Jump in. 15 levels. This is not good. This, uh, I would describe this as bad. Whew. I found a new way down. That's nice. The one problem with where I am right now is all of the things about where I am right now. Beautiful. Another way. No, that's not what I was trying to do. Thank you for showing me that that's how I opened my inventory if I want to be quick about it, though. Oh, look. One of these. If you're wondering why I'm staying around to kill these enemies, despite professing hatred for staying around and killing these enemies, they have demonstrated in the past a certain willingness to drop iridium. Bars and ore. So it is 9pm, it's worth eating a little bit more of this. Okay, loop around the other side. Get both of you a little bit further up on the area. What did we discover? Nothing at all. Beautiful. But that's fine because something's already been discovered over here. And we go. Oh, wow. This entire place is devoid. Oh, here we go. Jump in. I fell three levels. That's a lot of Omni Geodes, yo. I've collected a lot. I'm real sad now. Because at this point, it seems super unlikely that I get down any more floors. Or at the very least, if I get down another floor, it's basically going to be high floor, by floor. I'm going to go home. High floor. 
Oh, wow. Never mind. Down again. <gasps> Iridium! Iridium! Holy shit, it's a prismatic shard! Oh my god. Now, I'm a little bit daft, but after I gave my first prismatic shard to... Let's call him Gunter, because that's his name. After I gave my first prismatic shard to Gunter, I had a quick look around on the internet, quick rip, uh, whip around, to see what are the prismatic shards actually used for. And this is what they're used for. The prismatic shard changes shape before your very eyes. This power is tremendous. You found the galaxy sword. 60 to 80 damage plus 4 speed versus 55 to 64 plus 3 defense plus 25 crit power plus 3 weight. This is a lot faster and does a lot more damage. As you can see. So, let's uh, quickly... Oh, excuse me. Return to Stardew Valley. Damn, Prismatic Shard. Apparently they're super rare as well, so I'm really glad to have gotten one. Don't think I've got anything else to give Gunter. Or at the very least, I don't yet. Ten Omni Geodes might give me something to give Gunter. In fact, it seems relatively likely to do so. Oh my gosh. Uh, let us rid ourselves of... Oh, Magnet Ring. Don't need it. Of course. Just the things that can be harvested right now should be harvested right now. Harvest. Harvested, rather. This is where my white algae goes. Also where all of my monster loot goes. Prison tears do not go here. Hmm. Got to sell the katana back as well. 32. Okay, I'll take all of those. And those are going to be the ones I forge at the moment. Gosh, it's really difficult to keep track of the, in the inventory that I'm currently looking at. Real difficult to wrap my head around it. Okay. Let's just move both of you up here and this up here. Actually, no, God, I'm trying to do these. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And each of you can cut one of these. Oh, wow, more bait. Delicious. That was a lot of bait really quickly. Uh, get in bed! Get in bed! Oh my god, we got in bed before 1am. We beat it. Nothing happened in the nighttime, but we still lost some energy. But, we've got the galaxy sword, so you know what? We'll call it a wash. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Stardew Valley. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.